Hello, I'm Paul Doherty at the Exploratorium in San Francisco, and I'm here to show you today some science inspired by the Harry Potter novels. I've discovered that if I take a piece of PVC and some wool, and I rub the PVC with the wool, I rub it nice and firmly for a while, then I can actually attract the hairs on my arm. Well, I was thinking, if I can attract something with electrostatics, because when I rub the rod with the wool, it becomes negatively charged, maybe I could find something else that was negatively charged that I could fly. And of course, we know that in Harry Potter, they use their wands to fly things like feathers. So I found that when I went to my local Chinese grocery store, they used a nylon flat ribbon to tie up boxes. So I got some of that ribbon and I cut it into a four inch length and then I shredded it using a push pin. So I can just put it down and shred it like that. And when I'm done shredding it, I end up with something like this. Well, when I rub nylon with wool, you know, nice 10 nice strokes, it begins to grab my hand. And that tells me it's becoming electrically charged, negatively charged. And now I'll rub my rod. And both of these will repel so that I can actually hold up this wonderful bit of nylon against gravity. So the electrostatic repulsion is holding this up against the entire gravitational pull of the Earth. And it's really fun to do this. So I encourage you. Now in Harry Potter, they must say Wingardium Leviosa to make it fly. But in science, we just have to know about electrostatics. So have some fun with pieces of nylon and PVC and wool and electrostatics.